Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanna if you're new and welcome to another episode of Come Hang Out If You're Feeling Lonely, a series on my channel where I try various arts and crafts, some of which for the very first time while I talk about whatever I want. So it's like we're casually hanging out. In this episode, I'm gonna be doing my own nails, which is something that I really enjoy. So let's get started. I got my little setup. It's been a really hot second since I've gotten to do my own nails. So I'm very, very excited. It has also been a little bit since I posted my last Saturday video. And that is because I took a very brief break from posting on YouTube, mainly because I was feeling really burnt out, but I really appreciate everybody understanding and allowing me to take a break. Uh, it was really, really necessary. I feel like I worked myself to the point where a break was necessary. And like, I never really like to schedule free time. But then because I don't do that, I find that whenever I'm supposed to be working, I'm actually procrastinating a lot more than I mean to. Just because my mind is demanding that break. So today, for the very first time, I scheduled an hour of free time into my schedule where I just kind of like sat down. And it didn't really feel like much because I was also doing laundry at the same time, so I was just kind of waiting for the washer to finish. But as I was just sitting there and chilling, it felt nice. It felt nice. I just played some games. Um, journaled for a bit. It was nice. I think going forward I'm gonna be a little more deliberate with scheduling my free time because before I used to just take free time whenever I had free time like whenever I finished work early and then I would just have some extra time I would just take that as free time but the thing about that is that you know that doesn't always happen I don't always finish my work early so then sometimes I don't have free time so I think I need to start prioritizing me having free time. I make a lot of time to see my friends um, because my friends are a priority to me. And I used to think that me spending time with my friends was free time, was my free time. But then I realized that I also need some me time as an introvert. I feel like I definitely need some time to like recuperate and like recharge and just like be by myself and like do things that I enjoy. Um, not that I don't like enjoy hanging out with my friends because I really really do but I realized that I just need me alone time doing whatever the fuck I want and just chilling and so I'm gonna start with one hour every day just for that I took some time also to just kind of like think about what my priorities were have you ever heard about rocks pebbles and sand in a jar that one analogy where they talk about you having a glass jar that symbolizes your life i guess and then you have these big rocks and you put the big rocks in there first and then you pour in the pebbles and then the pebbles fill up the spaces uh, in between the big rocks and then you put in sand and then the sand fills in the spaces between the little pebbles whereas if you put in the sand and the pebbles first there's no space left for the big rocks um i don't know if that is making any sense i'm going on the assumption that like everybody has seen this before or like most people have like the big rocks are like the main things like your family your health your work or whatever that you prioritize and then your pebbles may be like the relationships that you have with your friends um, or like side hobbies that are like really really important to you and the sand is just like the stuff that you really enjoy doing like maybe watching TV on the weekends or like going out it's it's fun it's play and so if you prioritize fun and playing over um, all the important things like the pebbles and the rocks then you won't have space for them in the jar I really like this analogy because it made me think about what it is in my life that I consider the rocks and then the pebbles and then the sand um, and some people like to also include water which is even finer than sand. I think it's important to consider ourselves as limited resources so that we don't burn ourselves out and um, we know to say no to things sometimes and have boundaries and also like know when to take a break. And this jar analogy really just forces you to think about what it is that you truly prioritize and like find important because you can't prioritize everything. That's just unrealistic, especially with all the obligations that we have. So yeah, I've thought about it and I've come to the conclusion that my rocks are my work, um, which includes my full-time job and YouTube, and also my health. And my pebbles are my relationships with my loved ones. And then the sand would be making time for things that I enjoy, like watching movies or like playing games on my phone or whatever. <laughs> because it's important to make time for those things too, but only after, but there needs to be a certain list of priorities. It was kind of challenging for me to make this list because I tend to want to consider everything important to me 
as a priority. So like I want everything to be rocks, but like it just, I can't fit that many rocks into the jar, you know? I need to start seeing myself as a finite resource instead of just overworking myself. A finite resource that can be depleted. Speaking of making time for my loved ones, that reminds me that I just saw the Friends reunion on HBO and I would say I enjoyed it. I know a lot of people had some mixed feelings about it, but I enjoyed it. The reason I bring that up is because in the documentary, the producers said that the show was basically about the time in your life where your friends are your family and I feel like that is me right now. I've never been super close to my family so um, I feel like my friends have always been everything to me and for a long time I believed and I still kind of believe that this is pretty much how it's gonna be for the rest of my life like my friends are always gonna be here. If I really think about it like this period of time where your friends are everything to you and your family like this is kind of temporary until at least they get their own families or you get your own family and maybe it'll be harder to keep in touch um, and maintain these friendships. For me, I'm always going to try to maintain the friendships that are very meaningful to me. It's just kind of scary thinking about what is everything to me today being not everything one day. I guess I'm just kind of worried about losing my friendships one day because because eventually I'm assuming that a lot of people will get married and have babies and like I, I do want to get married but I don't I just don't know about the babies thing and um, I wonder if that will cause a rift between uh, my friends who will have babies and me who may not have a baby, but I guess that's just part of life and maybe I'm just worrying too much. And I was thinking of making a whole ass separate video on babies and stuff and then like how society really pushes you to want a baby, but I might as well just talk about it a little bit. Like essentially I have decided that I don't want to ever give birth. Um, it just doesn't sound appealing to me. The only way that I see myself having a child in the future is by adoption or surrogacy. I just don't want to put my body through childbirth and labor. Like pretty much all my life I've been taught to expect that I will have a baby one day and like be a mom one day. But like the thing is, I never really like wanted to. And like the thought of childbirth always made me really like uncomfortable but it was something that I thought that I would have to go through like it would be inevitable it never really occurred to me that it could be my choice and now more than ever it's clear to me that having a child is a choice not something that is inevitable because you're a woman and I can very easily just be like I don't want to have a kid and that'll be it. That'll be the final word. That'll be um, my decision. That'll be okay. I just feel like it's been ingrained in my mind to think that that's not an okay thing to say when in fact it totally is. And like the thing is, I might change my mind one day, but also if I don't, it has to be okay. Like when I was a teenager, I was like, oh no, I don't want to, I don't want to get pregnant. But I think that's like pretty natural when you're <laughs> kind of young and just like not ready to be a mother. But like I was always kind of like riding on the assumption that I would eventually just like wake up one day and like change my mind. Maybe when I turn like 30 or something, but like when I'm 30, I might not change my mind. If I do decide that I do want a child eventually, I want to make sure that I do everything I want with my life first before I have to take care of somebody else. And I also have to make sure that I'm financially capable of doing so. And now that I'm working my first full-time job, I like truly, truly understand how difficult it is to make money and how fast it goes when when something comes up and when you need to like spend on something babies are expensive so it's a really really big financial decision and of course other people have the right to do whatever they want with their lives so i'm not bashing anybody who wants to have a baby at all and there is also the argument of you know having children so that there is somebody to take care of you when you're old and i think that is a good argument however if you don't want children and the only reason that you have children is so that there are people to take care of you when you're old i feel like that's not a very good reason Reason. but if you do want children then that's a plus hopefully if I play my cards right and I take care of my health I will always be young and spry at heart at least and you know if I if I absolutely need then I'll just hire hire a caretaker I don't know but you know I, I haven't ruled out having babies completely it's just right now I, it doesn't seem appealing. Um, it is a possibility, yes, but I wouldn't count on it. Plus, you know, there's always adoption to consider. I feel like there are just so many babies out there without homes. So to me, taking in a child without a home is much more appealing than putting my body through labor. It's a lot, it's a lot for sure. But yeah, from now on, I am no longer expecting myself to want to have kids. No more, it's up to me. This is my life 
and I am going to live it the way that I want to, not the way that society wants me to want to. Also, like, I'm just so afraid of, like, being a bad parent. I don't want to be responsible for somebody else's childhood trauma. <laughs> Gosh, it's a lot of pressure. If I'm still doing YouTube by the time I'm 30 and I don't have kids yet, I'll probably make another video. So these past couple weeks have pretty much been my first of driving myself around in my new car. Um, and why does nobody talk about how fucking scary driving is? <laughs> oh my god, I feel like nobody talks about it. I just feel like, I don't know if I'm just like a little pussy ass bitch about it, but like it's really nerve wracking. <laughs> And I've been feeling a lot of anxiety around driving. Like whenever I know I'm gonna drive later that day, like I get really, really anxious and I just feel really nervous. And I have to like take deep breaths and remind myself that I know how to drive. And it's been okay so far. You know, haven't gotten into any accidents, which is good. But yeah, I'm assuming that it just gets better with more practice. So I'm just gonna keep practicing and hopefully it gets a little less anxiety inducing. I've pretty much just been driving myself to my friends' houses and also to my trainer's house. I've been working out with my trainer and I'm so freaking excited to have a trainer now. It's great, it's great. I like hadn't worked out for a month because I was just so swamped with everything. And so it's been really nice working out again. This is a reminder to prioritize your health for anybody watching. Please prioritize your health, whether that be mental or physical, both actually. Prioritize both mental and physical health. Work is not as important as you being healthy because if you're not healthy, then you can't work. Prioritize it. This is coming from somebody who used to prioritize school to the point where like, I thought it was more important than anything else. It's not. It's really not. It's important, but it's not more important than your health. Definitely make sure to sleep enough, drink enough water, eat healthy, and take care of your mind. Do things that you enjoy, you know? Spend time with people that you love. So yeah, I have been working out. I feel like I hit a plateau just working out on my own. So it's nice having some guidance. And I'm very excited to get the fat ass of my dreams. So California is officially reopening, effective June 15th, I believe, which is exciting, but also a little nerve wracking because I don't know if I'm ready. I feel like now the pressure is like really on to like actually do something with my life just because things will be open again and then there won't be the excuse of um, there's a pandemic outside. So now I'll feel even worse if I don't do anything. <laughs> There have been police cars outside my house like pretty much all day and like I feel so nervous for some reason even though I didn't even do anything. Police just make me nervous. But yeah, I don't even want to think about how I'm 23 this year because I feel like I lost an entire year of my life. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people feel this way, but you know, now at least I have a job so I feel like I'm actually doing something. Okay, wait, I love these so much. I'm so obsessed. Why didn't I do this before? So I feel like in the past year, I've definitely not prioritized my physical health and I haven't really been like I haven't really been conscious of what I put in my body and purposeful with it I used to count calories and I would like monitor how much protein and how much carbs and how many grams of fat I would intake every single day and like honestly it's a bit much it's a bit much at the time it wasn't I was really really into it but I think I've just transitioned away from that or like I'm not really into that anymore but now that I'm working out again, I really want to actually like try to buckle down and really try to eat more protein. You actually need like an insane amount of protein to actually gain muscle. So I am going to try to eat more protein. I already have protein powder and honestly, I don't really like it, but I'll drink it for nutrition reasons so that I can get enough protein in my system. I was shopping for some protein bars today, but I've been kind of traumatized. Like I've had protein bars before and the taste is just kind of awful. Maybe I just didn't try the right brand. Let me know if you know any protein bars that are actually good. Um, I'm gonna try to eat more protein. I'm gonna get yoked. I'm very excited. So kind of going back to what I was talking about at the beginning of this video about me trying to do too much basically, I literally sat down and made a pie chart of all the things that I have to do. There's only 186 hours in a week and a third of that is taken up by sleep because sleep is very important and should be considered as a priority. There's literally not enough time to do everything. And I think that is something that I have to accept. And I think I just really need to learn how to prioritize and um, manage my time a little better. So that'll be a new journey I'm going to embark on, trying to manage my time better and to also be a little more deliberate um, with my free time. In my free time, I do want to make time to like 
play games and like just fuck around on like social media because that is something that I do enjoy to an extent and I don't want to like stop doing it completely but I also want to be like deliberate about it I want to find myself on social media or like playing a game because I truly want to and I don't want to accidentally find myself like fucking around when I didn't even mean to in the first place and just like wasting time I guess that's the difference between being deliberate about my free time as opposed to just like accidentally finding myself on social media or playing games. Another thing I really want to work on is trying to be more proactive instead of reactive. I feel like I'm really really reactive in that every time there's a minor inconvenience in my life I just kind of collapse uh, which is bad for my health. But you know you can't control everything. You can't control the punches that life throws at you but you can control how you handle those things and i think having the ability to handle something with a sense of calm is a very important skill to have and very useful i'm just not good in stressful situations or at least i haven't been but i would like to be i think being more proactive will definitely lead to me being a little happier and i'll be going through life knowing that i have control over the things that i do have control over and as for the things that I don't have control over at least I'll be able to control how I react or how I handle them man I love nail foils these are so satisfying so my nails are bare and this is iridescent foil paper and then you just press it on and ta-da you get an iridescent sheen isn't that gorgeous? I love that. I really haven't had a chance to sit down and do my own nails lately. The nails that I have been doing are press-ons for other people. And honestly, I think I am going to stop selling press-ons very, very soon. I'm running out of boxes. And I think the timing is right to stop or at least take a break from making press-ons just because I have been feeling really, really overwhelmed. And lately, it's been something that has brought me more stress than joy. So um, I think once I finish using my materials, I am pretty much done for a while. I have maybe like four more orders I'm gonna take before I'm just done. You can be overwhelmed and underwhelmed, but can you ever just be whelmed? I should watch Clueless again. I love Paul Rudd. So this is the final result. I really like them. They're kind of clear and they're iridescent and they kind of remind me of bubbles. They're not perfect, of course, but they're good enough for me. Um, I have nail dust all over my pants. I don't know if that is uh, evident or not. Yep, there's white powder all over me. Worth it. Worth it for these. So yeah, that is pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.